Archives aim to acquire, preserve, and make accessible records of enduring value. Disasters can be a dramatic threat to these collections. In the wake of such disasters, it's important to know how to preserve and recover damaged records properly. Mylar encapsulation is a common method of housing flat records. What is commonly referred to as mylar is actually polyester film. Conservation grade mylar D is no longer in production and has been replaced by Melanex 516 and 456. When ordering in polyester film, ensure that it has no chemical additives, no coatings including PVC, and that it is biaxially oriented. There are many advantages to using mylar film, which includes that it is chemically and physically stable, it is strong and flexible, it is water repellent, and it's very smooth so it will not abrade paper. There are, however, many disadvantages to using mylar, including that it has static cling, that it is relatively expensive, and that it acts as a closed chamber which contains any off gases from the media or the paper. It also does not allow for airflow. For mylar encapsulation, you will need mylar, a cutting mat, an X-Acto knife, a ruler, and two-sided tape. For the first method of encapsulation, you will need to cut a piece of mylar that is twice the size of your record with extra space along all sides. Next, fold your folder in half and press against the crease and use a bone folder over the crease to tighten it. Cut a piece of two-sided tape and adhere from the crease, leaving a gap from the bottom edge. Next, you will need to remove the piece of wax paper attached to the two-sided tape. Close the folder and press against the two-sided tape. And now your record is ready to be inserted. This completes the first method of mylar encapsulation. This is a second method of mylar encapsulation. First, you will need to cut two sheets of mylar that are slightly larger than your record on all sides. Next, you will want to round the corners. And you will need to cut four pieces of two-sided tape for each edge of one sheet of mylar. Be sure to leave space from the edges as well as a gap between each piece of two-sided tape. This gap will allow for airflow later on. Next, you will want to place your record in the center and remove the wax paper from the two-sided tape. Take the other piece of mylar and line it up and press down along the two-sided tape. Be sure not to push your record into the adhesive as it will cause structural damage and staining. This completes the second method of mylar encapsulation. Good luck out there, archivists. <laughs>